married and God gave her a baby. And when her baby boy was born, Jacob and Rachel called him Joseph. Joseph. And so now, Jacob had ten sons and Joseph. Which son do you think he loved the most? Joseph. Joseph. Why? Because his, he loved Rachel. That's right. So, I want to just pause and think about this. How many of you have heard somebody say, uh, you look just like your father, or you look just like your mother, or you are just like your mother, or you are you are just like your father? Have you ever had something like that? I've had that. People would hear my voice and they say, oh, I thought that was your dad. Um, but... That kind of happens a lot. You can put your hands on them. That kind of happens a lot. It kind of happens a lot that the children look like or act like their parents. It would be really different to see somebody who looks like or acts like somebody who's going to come after them. But in the Bible, the story of Joseph... Now, people didn't know it when it was happening, but when we could look at the whole Bible, we see lots of things about Joseph that is just like somebody else who comes in, in the Bible about 1,900 years later. A long, 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 long time after Joseph, a man lived, and lots of things that happened in his life were just like the things that happened in Joseph's life. And so, when we study the Bible, we think, God must have had these things happen in Joseph's life so we could understand better what happened in this man's life who lived later. Who do you think the person who lived later is that Joseph reminds us of? That Joseph is kind of, Joseph's life is like a picture of. We're going we're gonna to see things about Joseph that's just like this person, this man who lived later. Who would be a really important person that God would want us to understand something about his life who lived later than jo lived on the earth later than Joseph? Anybody want to guess? I think I heard somebody start to say his name. Ian? Jesus. That's right. Now, a lot of things about a picture are not the same as the real thing, right? Yeah, but some things about the picture are the same. And here, we just said that Joseph was loved by his father more than anyone else. Right, Sean? Joseph was loved by his father more than anyone else. In fact, when Joseph got to be just a little older, maybe a teenager, his dad gave him a very special coat. He said, this coat shows that you are my special son. I love you more than anyone else, and I am pleased with you, and I, um, I want everybody to know that about you. So I want you to wear this coat so people know that you are my special son. Now, that's interesting. But what's really interesting about that is that a long time after that, that something very similar to that happened to Jesus. When Jesus was on the earth, he got to be about old enough to begin preaching and starting his ministry, and he went and got baptized. He got baptized, and when he finished being baptized, when he came out of the water from being baptized, a bright light shined out of heaven onto him, and it looked like a dove came and landed on him. And a voice came from heaven. And the voice said, now who speaks from heaven? God the Father. God the Father. That's right. And the voice said, this is my beloved son. Okay, this is my love. This is the son I love. My only beloved son in whom I am well pleased. I am very pleased with him, he said. 
So isn't that kind of the same as what Jacob and Joseph did? Jacob gave Joseph that special code so that everybody would know yes. that he loved him. Yes. And God said this about Jesus another time later on. Jesus was up on a mountain, and he was with a few of his disciples. And they were there, and they were talking, and then all of a sudden a bright cloud showed up and surrounded them all, and a voice came out of the cloud. And what do you think the voice said? This is my beloved son. Listen to him. So we can see that Jacob's love for his son Joseph is a picture. It's not completely the same, but it's a picture of God's love for his son Jesus. Now, let's see here. Where are we going now? Now, the Bible tells us that Jacob and Joseph had a very special relationship. I imagine that they talked together a lot. Je Joseph was about 10 years younger than, his, than most of his other brothers. He was, he can remember, Jacob had 10 sons before Joseph was born, so he was, he came along later, so he was younger than the rest of his brothers. So his brothers might be out in the field working, and Joseph was back with his dad talking and learning things that had happened to Jacob. I bet Jacob told Joseph about the time that he slept on the ground. Remember when he was going to, um, to his uncle's house and he slept on the ground and he had a, a dream? Yeah. Yeah? And you remember the, what was in his dream? Does anybody remember what was in his dream? Jesus. God was in the dream. down from heaven to the earth. And God was in, up in heaven and he spoke to Jacob. And I'm sure Jacob told Joseph about how God had de decided that their family was going to be used to bless the whole world. And then Joseph probably Joseph would have remembered the morning. He probably woke up in the morning and says, I remember the morning that his dad came out was came out from wherever in the morning with a limp. Do you remember what happened to Jacob? And after that, he limped for the rest of his life? Yes, yes. He wrestled with God all night long. But in that time, God blessed him, right? God yes. changed his life there again. And so Joseph and Jacob, they talked. They, they... Joseph learned about all the things of Jacob, and they had a very special relationship. I would bet that Jacob told Joseph how God chose him instead of his brother to be um, the one that he would bless the world through. And he might have told Joseph that God would use him instead of his brothers. I don't know, but they had a very close relationship, and they talk together. And the Bible teaches us that Jesus and Jesus the Son and God the Father have a very, very close relationship. Yes. They are both God. So that means not Chuck, please stop. Not one came before the other. Okay, now to us, a son comes after the Father, right? But they're both God. They yes. just decided. So, so they both came at the same they time. They came at the same time, and one was, I will be the son, and the other said, I will be the father. And, and But it's always been that way, so it's not like they ever decided. I don't know. I can't understand it. But I'm a person, and they are God. But anyway, there's the father, and there's the son, and there's the Holy Spirit, and they were all together in the beginning. They created the world, right? Jesus created the heaven and the earth, and God was there, and they created uh, the land and the water and the fish and the birds and the animals and the men and the women. They created all of that, and they know everything. They knew when everything was perfect that it wouldn't stay perfect. And what happened that caused it not to be perfect anymore? Jasmine? You don't have to tell me the story. What was it? Or just 
something. It was, it was Eve and Adam. What did they do? They ate from the tree, and that was, they disobeyed, and that was sin. Yes. So sin came and ruined everything, right? Well, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, they knew that that was going to happen before it even started. And so they had developed a plan. Have you ever talked over something with your dad? And, or with your mom? And you got a plan? You said, okay, I'm going to do this, and then you're going to do this, and then I'll be here, and then we'll meet over there. They had a, you've got a plan. Well, God the Father and Jesus had a plan. They planned it before the world was created. Before anybody sinned, they planned that the people who had sinned and would not be allowed into heaven because of their sin could be saved from their sin by the Son. Who's the Son? Jesus going to earth and dying in the place of the people. And then they planned that everybody who would believe on the Son could become sons of God too. Okay? So they planned, that Jesus and God planned that Jesus would come to the earth, he would die on the cross, and, and then raise from the dead, and everybody that believed on him would be the sons of God too. So Jesus is God's son, and who else are God's sons? People who believe on Jesus. And so if we're God's sons, that puts us in God's... If we're all sons... That puts us in God's, starts with an F, family, yes. So if we believe on Jesus, we're in God's family. And God has a home for his family to go to someday. Whenever everybody, anybody who believes on Jesus dies, where do they go? They go to heaven. They go to God's home. That's their home because they're God's son. So, we have lots more to learn about Joseph and his, and, and his life because his life shows us pictures of Jesus over and over and over again. And today we learned, we were reminded how God and Jesus have a very special relationship just like Jacob and Joseph had a special relationship. Jacob loved his son, and Jacob um, uh, Jacob loved him, and he had a special relationship with him. And God loved Jesus, and he had a special relationship with him where they planned out how they would save the world from their sins. And if you have not believed on Jesus, that means you're still a sinner. But we all sin even after we believe on Jesus. But our sin causes us not to be able to go to God's home because we're not a part of God's family. But if we believe on Jesus, we can be in God's family, and when we die, which will come sooner or later, then we will be able to go to God's home, our home, because we're in God's family. All right. Next week, we will learn some more about Joseph and how he pictures Jesus' life.